talks of Louisiana legislators going back to Baton Rouge for a special veto override session are getting more serious. The Senate president says senators are likely to support the effort to try to overturn the governor's vetoes and House Republicans have indicated they have the support to do so as well. Victor Georges is here with what could happen in the next few days. A spokesperson for the governor tells me Edwards has until tomorrow, July 1st, to sign or veto remaining bills. Then he has until July 3rd to let the House and Senate know his vetoes. I spoke with Jeremy Alford, who runs LaPoliticsWeekly.com. He says it's a matter of timing and numbers. Right now, it looks highly likely that the legislature is going to trigger a, a history-making veto session. For that to happen, 20 out of 39 senators and 53 out of 105 representatives would have to vote to either go into session or cancel the possibility. And July 15th is the deadline uh, for lawmakers to have their ballots in for the question of whether this veto session should be held or not. Once in session, if lawmakers want to override a veto, they must have 26 votes in the Senate and 70 in the House. That's a two-thirds majority. So far, the governor has vetoed two bills. Senate Bill 118 would allow gun owners to conceal carry their weapons without a permit. He also vetoed a bill that would prevent transgender girls from competing on girls' sports teams in schools. I think the transgender-related bill will probably uh, be uh, first on tap. Uh, it looks like that's the piece of legislation that has the, the most potential for a veto override from the legislature. I think you'll see a strong vote in the Senate on that bill. Uh, as well as a, a, a strong vote in the House. If enough votes are gathered to start this special session, it would go on from July 20th to the 24th. In the studio, Victor Georges, KTC TV3.